Hey guys, Santa Sketches here with another Inktober video. So this was day nine nest and instantly I thought of a dragon nest and I wanted to draw a dragon and her egg because I've never actually drawn a dragon egg um, and I wanted to design one. So I decided to draw Lady Akira from The Warrior's Beginning and that's her egg. That, that the, the egg will one day be Yuki. Prince Yuki. But it's not right now, obviously. It's an egg. I mean, I guess it is him. But it doesn't look like him. It looks like an egg. Because it is. Um, but, yes. I had a lot of fun drawing her with her egg. She's just kind of curled around him. It's cute. Um, and yeah, that, that was pretty much that day. It was a simple prompt, thankfully, after the amount of work I put into some of the previous Inktobers. And I was pleased to have it only take like four to five hours instead of my entire day. So yeah, that was Nest. And I, oh, I had a lot of fun putting the little scales on her. I've kind of developed this thing with scales this Inktober where I put these patches of them on and it gives the idea of the creature being fully scaled without me having to actually draw every single scale because nobody got time for that. But yeah, uh, this is not a nest you would want to mess with if you value your life. Dragons are very, very protective of their young. And in fact, they're so protective of children in general, they have this problem of abducting them. Abduction, adopting them. Um, Usually there's good reason, but uh, they definitely care about children a little too much. They're dragons. They hoard things. Shiny things. Gold. Broken pots. Children. It's just kind of how they, how they roll. But yeah, there's Lady Akira and her son Yuki and his egg for Day 9 Nest. The next up was Day 10 Krabby. And instantly when I heard the word Krabby, I thought of Felix. I mean, he was inspired by Grumpy the Dwarf. Yes, it's a, it's a long story how we got to this, to this point. But uh, I thought, yeah, you know, he, he fits Krabby. Fits it quite well. So I wanted to draw him. And I drew him in his usual activity, which is going and bothering Jude because Jude is trying to get a nap. Jude is always napping and never doing anything productive because he's inspired by Sleepy the Dwarf. But that's just, uh, that's just kind of who he is. He is a former con artist who still is a con artist, even as a monk, and uh, he does not care. He does what he wants to do. Uh, now, their kind of leader of their monastery, Augustine, uh, he has Felix go and, and deal with Jude, Felix being a former military man. Um, so he just goes and has him yell at Jude to get Jude to move. Uh, this, this causes Felix no small amount of stress and it generally makes him pretty crabby. In the picture as well are uh, Angel, Jude's chicken, sitting on his knee there. I'm not very good at drawing chickens, but I'm trying. And then there's their donkey who is eating their carrots. Because, see, Jude was supposed to watch the donkey and make sure she did not get into the carrots. But he took a nap. So, guess who got into the carrots? I mean, she's having a wonderful time. The donkey is extremely happy that Jude took a nap. Felix is not. So, no one mind Felix having an aneurysm over there. Poor man. Generally is. This picture did take a lot of effort, kind of just with all the detailing, like on the rocks and the hay. I swear, drawing hay is my bane, I have discovered. I do not like drawing hay. I didn't know it was going to be so complicated, but this Inktober has shown me that hay is a pain in the butt. And it's not fun. But it looks nice, it's just really annoying. So yes, Jude, uh, that, that pretty much 
sums up Jude's entire personality of I don't care and Felix's entire personality of trying to make things work and being stressed out when they don't work. Again, poor man. Uh, yeah, also, Felix has a pitchfork, so Jude should probably watch out. I'm not saying that Felix would hit Jude with that, at least not fatally, but he might smack him upside the head if he, if he keeps this up. I did several kinds of shading on this one. I did cell shading, that darkness, that I did lighten. And I did hatching, because hatching is just very inktober-y, I don't know. Then I decided it was too plain, so I added some color. And yeah, that's, uh, there it is. Oh yeah, I was messing with the sky. And then I added some, like, hay texture. Because, I mean, at that point, I'd spent like six or seven hours, so... I mean, why not at that point? What's she, what's she gonna do? And I always color their eyes for some reason. I don't know why I decide to color their eyes and nothing else, but I do. I had realized that I left out Felix's scars, so I added them. So yeah, crabby. So then we have day 11, and I think, yeah, so it was eagle for uh, 2022, but I don't have any eagles, and like the best I could do was draw a phoenix, and I, I, didn't, I didn't want to. It, birds are hard, okay? So I decided to go with the other prompt, um, from 2019, which is snow, and I drew what I like to call Snowception, because here's Ira, her name means snow, originally Snow White, inspired by Snow White, um, and here she is playing in the snow. So it's, it's multiple levels of snow. There we go. I think it fits the prompt well. So we have, uh, Zella, Ira's friend in the background, she's making a snow lady. And then there's Ira with her snow prints she has made, and her father, who thinks she's funny, because he generally does. He, he likes his daughter a lot. So he's crowning the little snowman with one of his rings. That was the concept. I don't know how well it got across, but it's cute and funny, and I like it. So yeah, I also had to figure out how to draw medieval people in winter clothing. Pinterest was not helpful at all. Um, you failed me, Pinterest. It's been failing me at several uh, occasions over this Inktober, honestly. Um, it's very annoying because I need it to not fail me. But oh well. Um, yeah. Pinterest be Pinterest sometimes. It didn't fail me with Zella's outfit, I will say. It, it gave me a good a good idea of how to draw her outfit that she wears as a little girl. Because I have the one for when she's like 14 or 15. But not so much child Zella. I also had to design child Ira's clothing. Um, which was interesting. It's always interesting to draw medieval children. <laughs> Because, again, it's kind of hard to find reference for that. Sometimes you can. Um, so yeah, there's the snow lady I'm drawing right now. Zella made a snowman, well, snow lady, to look like her. And then I was defining Treyhern's hair. It's very curly. Um, drawing curly hair is fun, but difficult. And I still don't have a perfect method for that one. I'm, I'm trying to improve on curly hair. His hair is mostly just wavy, but it's very thick and nice. Um, and then the snow. I, I feel bad for Treyahern. He doesn't have any gloves. He probably should have gloves. But I was brain dead at that point, and also I couldn't find good references of medieval gloves in the time period of 1111 AD, so we just left him. It's, he's he's going to be cold. But, you know, I know people that can just pick up chunks of snow in their bare hands and be fine with it. I do not understand them, but it's a gift some people have. I don't. I don't have it. I also used my snowflake brush. You can see it in the background there with the falling snowflakes. 
that's a brush I made myself and I'm very proud of it. Um, but so yeah, I drew that snowflake once and now I can put it on everything like a brush as a brush and I'm very, very happy about it. Um, so yeah, I did a lot of hatching on this one because at that point I was too strapped for time to do both hatching and cell shading. So we just did the hatching and it's going to have to be good enough. But it was a good day. I really liked this picture. I like drawing baby era, like little child era and child Zella. They look different. And it's fun to design your characters as children, see what they looked like back then. So yeah. Day 11. <clears throat> Snow. So finally we have um, day 12, which was forget. And that is the 2022 prompt. Um, and so I started out drawing a kind of a different concept than I went with in the end, so I just kind of deleted it because it wasn't working. But then I went with this, because this has been in my head for a long time, and unfortunately it I didn't really do it justice, but you know, it's Inktober. <laughs> I'm kind of rushed. Um, but I've had this idea in my head for a very long time of Sena, um, a picture of like Sena watching uh, a memory of her dancing with Torin in their house because Sena continues to live in the hall. It needs a new name, but we're just going to call it the hall for now. Um, and well, the hall is very magical and it remembers things that happened there, and so she gets to see the ghosts of her dead family for her entire mortal life, which is quite long. Um, delightful. Uh, at this point, I think she's gotten to the point where she just kind of ignores it. The recording here does not do it justice, because what I'm doing is, and I don't know if like when I export it, it'll be better, but right now it's really blotchy, and if that's what it looks like exported, I am so sorry. But the ghosts are blue, so I was inking them in blue, and I wanted to be able to see it, so I lowered the background to a kind of a gray um, to get that inking. And I just, I don't think it's translating very well. <laughs> Hopefully it looks better when I actually color them and change the background, because see there I'm filling them with the blue color, because they are, they are ghosts. Well, they're memories of something that mortals did, and yeah, they just kind of loop through whatever they were doing in life yeah, for eternity. Yay. But yeah, as a uh, as a little, wow. Sena, let me not forget which character I'm talking about, is just climbing the stairs and kind of ignoring them because like, it's not like she hasn't seen them a million times. Uh, the perspective in this is just awful. I am sorry. It is what it is. I also tried to make it less awful with glows and such, and I don't know how well I did. I think it's okay, but it's not wonderful. <laughs> it's just one of those pictures where you had to get it done, and hopefully it's passable. And I think I think it's passable. So, a little glowy memory of a happier time in Sana's life, and Sana's kind of ignoring it because, I mean, it doesn't really help to dwell on it. But yeah, that is the kind of sad day 12 forget. She wishes she could. But yeah, um, that, and sometimes she wishes she didn't. It's complicated. But yeah, that was, uh, days 9 through 12, and hopefully I'll get the next ones up soon. Thanks for watching, guys.